Kathleen McGuinn. I'm a senior uh, chemistry major at Gettysburg College. I'm Julie Verana. I'm class of 2010 chemistry major at Gettysburg College. And we did the comparison of the coordination chemistry of tripod ligands, that's like three pyridine donors and three imidazole donors. And the purpose of our project was to create ligands that would be able to be bioselective in the body because traditional uh, radio pharmaceuticals don't have the type of bioselectivity to target specific organs and specific tissue in the cell. And we need to understand ones that would be able to only attack the cancerous tumor of t in the tissue instead of creating a carcinogenic effect on the rest of the body. So we wanted to be able to make uh, different tails of our ligands in order to target specific tissues. And traditional radiopharmaceuticals use technetium, and it's not a naturally occurring product. It's actually a byproduct of nuclear, re uh, nuclear reactors. So we wanted to find a good model for technetium radiopharmaceuticals. So we used rhenium, which falls right below technetium, and proved to be a great model because it has the same uh, D6 ion, and we wanted to study the different aspects of it. And so with our different ligand modifications, we were able to make hydrophobic, which is water, it doesn't like water, and then hydrophilic, which means that it's water loving, and it's more water soluble, which means it'll be able to pass through the body more effectively, creating less of a um, medical hazard to other cells and other tissues.